Hi, I'm JD, and today what we're going to be doing is verifying um, rational expressions because you can't just, well, I guess it depends on what calculator you have, but with the TI 84 Plus, you can't just simply type in a rational expression and then boom, have it simplify for you. What you can do though with rational expressions is check your work. So I put two problems and I put their solutions. The first problem is just simplifying a rational expression. And you get this as your answer. And then, I don't know if you can see that, but it's supposed to be a three. And then what I have is adding and subtracting rational expressions and then simplifying it, which you get this as your answer. So to simplify, well, to simplify this, you just factor it, you go through all the steps, you see what cancels, you end up with this. Now to verify it, you know, if you do all the steps correctly, that this is equal to this. So you can basically plug in any number for x, and if it proves that this is equal to this, well, then you know it's a, you know, it's simplified correctly. Now, I would be careful on what x's you choose. I would not choose something that would zero out either the numerator or the denominator. And I would choose something that was like completely random. So I would choose my x to be something like x equals, I don't know, uh, three points four, five. And it could be any x, it doesn't matter. Now, what you wanna do first is store this as x. So to do that, you have three points, four, five. Press the store button, which is right here. Store it as x, and notice I pushed the variable key for x. Now, wherever I type in x, it's going to replace with 3.45. So I'm going to type in this first. Whenever you type in numerators and denominators like this, since the calculator thinks linearly, you have to put parentheses around your numerator and around your denominator. Just going to do that. Parentheses 18 minus 2 x squared, close parentheses, divided by parentheses x squared minus 2x minus 3, close parentheses. And I get some value like negative 2 point something, whatever. And now I'm going to type in this. So it's negative two parentheses three plus x close parentheses divided by and then I have my parentheses for the denominator. Notice I didn't put parentheses around the whole numerator. I don't necessarily have to do that because it's two times that. And then everything in the denominator does need parentheses. So it's parentheses x plus one, close parentheses, and see that? I got the same exact thing. So that means that this is equal to this. Now let me do this one. Now I'm not gonna change my x value because it's something really weird, 3.45, but if I really wanted to, I can change it so that it's 10.35 and then push the store button. Again, you don't have to do this. I'm just trying to make a point. So x equals 10.35. Now I want to type each of these uh, all together. So it's seven divided by and again, I have to put this in the denominator, so I need parentheses around the whole thing. 
if you do not put parentheses, what will happen is it will divide it by x and then it will subtract 7 over x by 1, the whole thing. So that's why I need the parentheses around that. Plus, here, since it's just a monomial, I don't necessarily need parentheses there for the numerator. So I'm just going to type in 10x divided by, I do need parentheses around this, open parentheses, x squared minus 1, close parentheses, type in the last one, minus 5 over parentheses, x plus 1, close parentheses. Again, you're going to get a funny value because you're using a funny value. And then just type in 12 divided by parentheses x minus, not pushing this, pushing the minus sign. And it's the same exact thing. So that means this whole thing is equal to this. And that's how you check your answer um, using a calculator.